That's it, man. Game over, man. It's game over. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another video on 6th Edition Tyranids. This episode is going to be on Vanguard Data Slate, not the Codex. And this is a game changer. Uh, if you don't know, a data slate is a codex add-on which allows you to put formations in your army. Formations are units that are outside of your normal troop choices, elite choices, and everything like that. They are special, and they have their own special rules. The point costs are pretty much the same. You just pay the cost per model. But they do not take up any slots in your force organization. Uh, and now I'm going to start you with my favorite one. In fact, I can do an entire video on just this one formation. It's going to be called the Death Leaper Assassin Brood. The Death Leaper Assassin Brood, very simply, is a brood that comes with one Death Leaper and five Lictors. These units are not one brood, even though they call it that. It's actually six different individual broods. You pay the normal cost for each of the, for each of the figures. You can't upgrade them or change them or anything, but they don't take up a slot in your force organization chart. You're only limited by how many points you have in your army. So I'll say it again. Death Leaper, Assassin Brood. One Death Leaper, five Lictors. And that's not enough. If that's not enough, uh, there's more. They come with Preferred Enemy. Which Preferred Enemy? Characters and Independent Characters. Oh, that's, that's still not enough? Okay, how about they also come with a nice little ability called Paranoia. Paranoia is negative one leadership to every unit within 12 inches of them. That stacks on top of all the other leadership nerfing abilities. So the, the death leadership still gets, um, it's after me. There's still shadow in the warp. All of them stack together. Wow. Wow. That is a game changer. So you can take that and still take a Death Leaper as your AQ, HQ, and still take Lictors as your Elites, and still take an Assassin Brood, which adds all of them. I was going to make a, a video on the tactics for this, but quite honestly, it explains itself. If you watch any of my other vi videos on the Death Leaper or Lictors, you will know what goodness you can do with this. So let's look at some of my other favorite formations. These are not all of them. These are just the ones that I've tried so far. They have one called Forest Lictors. If those Lictors weren't enough, you can take Forest Lictor Brood. What do they do? Forest Lictors are a brood of five lictors, and that is one unit, and yes, it is bigger than the elite choice. It's five lictors. What's different about them? If you set them up in a forest, they can infiltrate up to six inches away, up to six inches away from another unit instead of a 12 inch uh, no line of sight, 18 inch line of sight. They can set up within six inches. And then there's their kissing cousins, the Manufactorum Gene Stealers. What do they do? They're essentially the same, but they come in five minimum strength broods of Gene Stealers. I'll say it again. Five minimum strength broods of Gene Stealers that don't go on to your force organization chart. These gene stealers have the special rule that if you set them up in ruins or buildings, they can be six inches away, well infiltrated. They also, if that's not enough, get hit and run. 
The, I mean, wow. If you were scared of the gene stealers before, if you wanted to see an infiltrating, control, denial-based army, think about these guys. I mean, uh, it's, it's just amazing. Um, uh, you, you, if you're talking about a 2,000-point game, you can just dominate the board with, with this. I suggest everybody take a look at the data slate. Take a look at these new formations. I'm going to be going over the other formations later on. Uh, they plan on having three data slates. This is Vanguard, which is going to deal with those initial units, the, the infiltrator scout units. Then there's going to be the data slate that deals with the big guys, the Nidzilla armies, um, Carnifexes and specialized broods with that. If these guys aren't scary enough, I can't even imagine what they're going to do with formation Carnifex broods. And if that's not scary enough, then I guess there's going to be an in-phase, a feeder organism data slate. So feeder organisms are already pretty much new to the 6th edition codex, so they're going to come out with something new with them and formations with them. And I look forward to that. But right now, formations. You wonder why gene stealers don't have allies? They don't need them. Hope you enjoyed it. Look forward to telling you more about the 6th edition gene stealers in the future. And as always, please like. Thank you.